The last three players to sweep a week ended up losing on a Monday, so history is not looking good for Brendan Bushy. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. He does have two things going for him. He's wagered properly, and he's gotten every single Final Jeopardy right. But this is his first time trailing. He and Sasha, the two college kids, behind Kay, who has 16,200 thanks to a very aggressive daily double wager. Well played. Even surprised Alex and got a good cheer out of the audience. So this one's going to be interesting. Let's start with uh, Brennan doubling up. That'll put him at 23.6. 7,400 out of K. If she is wrong with that wager, that's going to be 8,800. So Brennan is going to be capped at 3,000. And Sasha at 1,000. And now if Sasha doubles up, he's going to have 19.6. So if Brennan wants to cover him, he might as well go all in, but at least uh, 7,800. I'm just going to put pull him out there. K might think, hey, Brennan is going to play conservatively, or I kind of like the category, but I don't really like the category. I'm just going to try to cover Sasha. 19.6, that's going to be a wager of 3,400. If Sasha's afraid of that, he could go for everything, and Brennan could go for everything, too. Alright, that's the end of our first order. Second order, not too much to go with here. This 3,000 wager out of Brennan, not a convincing move, but 14.8, uh, so Kay could cap her wager if she doesn't really like the category at all, 1,400. And this $1,000 out of Sasha, if Brennan is going to play small, that'll put him at 10.8, so Brennan will probably want to cap his wager at 1000 Now we go on to our zero cover wagers. Difference between Brennan and K, 4400 Nothing doing there. Brennan's not going to have any additional plays, but K, capper wager, 8800 that's twice that amount. Anything else? No. How about between Brennan and Sasha? 2,000, 4,000? Nah. Nothing really doing here. Uh, the difference between Brennan and K4400, I just put that there too. Well, I would really like to thank Andy Saunders for giving me a warning so I could have one of these freshly poured. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we're going to need that after that bout of wagering. Brennan got a Christmas present on Friday and just gave it right back. Paying it forward, I guess? I don't know. I don't think there's such a thing as karma in Jeopardy. I like Kay's... I should say, I disliked Kay's wager less than I disliked Brennan's wager because... Maybe Kay absolutely hates television, and it showed she got it wrong. The other two got it right. And it's acceptable to put it in the other player's court if you have an overwhelming hunch that you're going to get it wrong. Of course, this 3,400-4,400 range would have done the same exact thing and would have covered Sasha on the off chance that it was a question that she knew. So, what did we learn today? Always, always, if you are going to lose on the downside, no matter what, always wager everything. Don't think about it. Don't save a dollar, two dollars, or a thousand dollars, or four thousand dollars, or your total minus four thousand dollars. That's all there is to it. Sasha begins his run tomorrow. See if he can repeat. Hope you'll join me then. On the final wager. Cheers.